Hey guys, it's Morgan Zareni, back with another video, and today we're going to be doing another review. Today we're going to be doing a review of a square reader. I'll leave it here for a second so you can get a clear picture of that. So first off, it comes with this little sticker that you can take off. So it's Square, Visa, MasterCard, America, American Express, and Discover. So you can just put that to the side. So then when you open this up, this is a MagStripe reader, but whenever I get uh, the one where there's a dock with it, I will do a review of that as well. But then you just pull it out of here, and it's got a little place where you can put it back. And you just plug it into your phone, uh, and like where the auxiliary cord goes. Uh, I'll show you a clip of that right now. Okay guys, so I got my old phone, and as you can see... The auxiliary cord is right there. That is the auxiliary cord. And what you do is you'll... So let's just set this down like right here. And then the auxiliary cord is right there. So you just put this into the end of it. And <clears throat> what I can show you is whenever we're on the app, it'll say MagStripe connected. Uh, and I'm going to do that on uh, the, the um, screen recorder. But you just swipe the card through here. I mean, you choose the payment. Uh, you can also manually put them in, and you just swipe it through there, and it'll read it. But there are there is another type of reader that's Bluetooth instead of uh, like you plug into the auxiliary cord. So I will show you guys the app right now. Okay, guys. So as you can see, this is the front page, and these are my items that I have here. It's just like miscellaneous stuff. But then, here's the charge screen. So let's say you want to charge someone $10. You just do $10. Then you'll plug this reader in, the auxiliary cord, which I showed you in the previous. So you plug your mag stripe in, and this should show up on the screen. And if it doesn't, then there's probably something wrong. Yeah, and it should say that too whenever you unplug it. But then you just swipe the card through there, and you can put uh, checks in with settings, and you can change it. But uh, that's this part of the uh, the Mac stripe. And then these are orders. You can see I don't have any currently, or invoices or transactions. But I uh, if you go to Settings, there's a bunch of stuff you can do down here. Like, I'm obviously not going to click on my bank account because that's my, all the information. But then you can just go to items, like all items, and create items, categories, uh, modifiers, discounts, units, all that stuff. And there's a way where you can see there's a bunch of stuff here to help you with uh, everything that you're doing. Then, but then you can do this. I don't remember where exactly it was. It, it's somewhere around here. Well, I have some transactions that I was just testing it out. And then you can refund it as well. And if you get a friend to join this, uh, you'll get half, uh, basically half a year of free, uh, like, a free using, uh, this without them charging it. Uh, but it's like 2.6% of whatever you make, so like if you charge $100, it'll only be $2.60 out of here. And you can also manually, like, let's just do $8. You can manually put in a card number. See, manual credit card entry, then there's gift card entries and stuff like that. So, this is just the review of the Square app, because my other review seems to be doing really well. It's almost at 100 views, and I appreciate you guys for that. And uh, let's see if we can hit 10 likes on this video, and I will uh, get the other Bluetooth reader with it, so I can do another review on that if we can hit 10 likes on this video. All right, guys. I love you guys. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I will see you guys in the next video.